So medical exams commonly want us to know school exclusion criteria for common paediatric infections. If I look at gov.uk website from the Public Health England advice, and I've summarised some of the common ones for you to know. Of course, every situation is different. How well the child is, are they improving with treatment, for example, but it's worth knowing some key guidelines. We'll start with chicken pox, although usually it's for five days since they had the problem, which all the lesions should be crusted over before they head back to school. So lesions should be crusted over before they head back. Diarrhea and vomiting, thinking about a gastroenteritis cause, because there are many reasons for diarrhea and vomiting. But if you're thinking gastroenteritis, it's 48 hours without any symptoms. So 48 hours without any DNV before they go back to school. In terms of hand, foot and mouth, there's not really any exclusion criteria. Once the child's feeling better, they should be able to go back to school. There's nothing to keep them off as such in particular. Measles, four days after the rash onset when it comes to measles. So it's that fourth day. Once I've had that rash, they should be able to go back as long as they're well. Mumps. Five days after swelling onset, remember we get glands up here, sometimes and other glands swelling as well. So five days after that swelling onset, they can usually go back to school. Rubella, five days from the rash onset. So again, five days, but rash onset this time instead of the, um, the swelling. So rash onset, five days. Rubella, when you talk about scarlet fever, it's 24 hours after they commence antibiotics. Antibiotics are usually penicillin B-based, but it's 24 hours after you commence antibiotics. And pertussis or whipping cough, 48 hours after they've started antibiotics when it comes to pertussis. There's a few others, have a look at the gov.uk website for more information. Remember, every situation, every scenario is gonna be patient-based, but it's worth knowing some of those key guidelines. Much more like that is on our webinars, courses, and our audio books. Heard this house, hashtag can pass, will pass, hashtag I went with Aurora.